new bike day. What's up? What's happening? I am stoked on this Genius Limited frame. I mean, look at the colorway of it. You've got that silver with sparkles running through it, then you've got the marble effect, and I've got a stunning build kit to go with it. Shimano XTR, some really special Fox suspension. We are one wheels. We've got Schwalbe tires and a finishing kit from Pro. So let's go and have a look at some of the stuff. What a beautiful array of components. I'm gonna be so stoked in this build. Loving being back in XTR. That group set is gonna complement the frame so well. But let's get on to the juiciest of things. It's from Fox, and it's their live valve suspension system. Oh, look at it. Let's get the shock out first. There we go, look at that. Fox live valve. I'm so stoked in this. I actually saw a prototype version of this when it first came to light. I've not had a chance to try it yet, so it's gonna be really cool. Nice little box in here, what we got? A controller or something maybe? I don't know. Yeah, the main unit. Electronic control suspension. So basically, controls whether you're in like a locked out mode or you're in like a descent mode. What else we got in here? Oh, I'm gonna lose that. More mounting stuff, setup stuff. Cables, that's maybe for the accelerometers. And we get the forks out. There we go, 36s. This is gonna be seriously sweet. The genius just got smarter. And we have the tuning guide. That's probably gonna be pretty useful. And there we have it. Look, this must be the actual the actual system for the live valve right there. Let's get that out. There we go, I think that is the brains behind the live valve. This is all the calculations a thousand times per second to work out whether you should be in like a descent mode or a climbing mode. Really cool. Right, let's get some nice shots of this stuff and then we can see about fitting it to the bike. this on the bike, get these cables through the frame, then we can see about fitting the fork and the shock. Well, we've got the control unit fitted, the shock in now, we've got all the cables routed for it, and it's actually come together way simpler than I thought it was going to. Next thing, we're gonna put the fork in, connect that up, and then we can carry on with the build of it. We've got all the live valve stuff fitted. The forks are on there. It looks really cool. I like how it's looking. It's quite neat. These cables, these need to be properly attached. So next we're gonna put the bars on, we're gonna put the brakes on, get this all mounted and finished off.
Everyone knows that internal cable routing can be a bit of a faff at times, but you won't believe it, we didn't even film it, it came through in a one -er. like didn't even have to do any adjustments, didn't have to use a pick, it just went in and then out. Unreal. <laughs> Stoked. <laughs> So the bike is starting to come together now. Got most of the cable routing done. Next thing that we're gonna move on to is the wheels. We're gonna get the tires on them, the cassette and the disc rotors. Let's do it. No tire levers required. These are gonna look so nice in this frame. I do love the XCR cranks. Just looks beautiful. It's like a work of art. The two off tones of gray, just so nice. And these, they weigh absolutely nothing. Right, bottom bracket in, and get these on, chain on, set the gears up. Man, you cannot beat it. Like, literally out the box. And just like precision shifting. Pretty rare occurrence, because I am actually reading the instruction manual for once. The final piece of the puzzle is to put the battery onto the live valve system, plug that in, and then we are pretty much good to go. So, let's do it. Take off this protective cover. To calibrate the system. So, press the power button to turn the system on. System is turned on. Make sure the bike is upright still and on a level surface. Check. Press and hold the setting selector button for 15 seconds. Release the setting selector once the red off LED illuminates. Saw that. Once a green LED illuminates, press the power button once and release it. A green LED will flash three times to indicate the calibration process is complete. I think that worked. There we go then. It is built. The line valve has been calibrated and I'm absolutely stoked with it. All that remains is to give it a thorough check over and get everything dialed in. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumb up like. If you've got any comments, questions, leave them down below. Make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss the first ride. 
of this bike or any more bike builds. Thanks for watching guys. Were you waiting all night to, to say that punchline? Dude, that was, that was actually, that was, um, just came to my head right there. I was like, the <laughs> just got smaller. <laughs> I was like, that's, that's pre-scripted for sure. <laughs>